Hello, everybody. How you doing? My voice is coming out. Okay, that's good to know. How you doing? Happy Sunday. Very rare that we have a, a lovely little chill Sunday afternoon uh, Zetcraft live stream, isn't it? How you all doing? Hope you've had a good weekend. Is it an ex is it like in England? It's an extended weekend. We got a bank holiday on Monday. Is that the same for other places in the world? Do other places have banks? It's a good question. Um, glad to see you all here today. Glad to see in the chat we're all d discussing whether I'm going to get killed or not. <laughs> in Romania, there's a good, good. Other people saying no, however. Not in Canada. You got banks, but no holidays. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> yes, in Germany as well. Okay, all right. It's, it's good. I'm glad the, the nice day off vibe is spread into people. Um, so really, although we're kind of streaming this on a Sunday, it's kind of like a Saturday if you count the Monday as being like a Sunday. That's how that works, right? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> uh, Nitwick, you're right. Zetcraft does have a bank. The very place we're on right now has a bank for the for the first time, I believe, um, which were we were we sure if it was a scam or not? Because it sounded very like a scam in the uh, in the discord <laughs> in the best way possible, of course. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oh, plenty of noises coming through as well. Thank you so much, everyone, for the trumpets uh, coming on through. Uh, let, let's let's thank some people, shall we, for making those trumpeters. Trumpet, submarine, sunlight. My brother, I can't get words out right now. Seven months of sheep, but muggity mug. Thank you so very much. Do appreciate that. Blitzfire. Thank you as well for your lovely prime sub. I do appreciate that. Miranda Miller. Hello, hello. Forgot to resub using prime, so I'll have to do it this way instead. Well, there you go. There you go. I mean, have you not got Prime anymore? Because it's free, right? You get a bonus. You get a free sub with every pr Prime sub. Could totally do it that way. And it still helps me out a bunch. But anyway, Miranda, thank you so very much. Um, Matthew, my friend, thank you for 35 months of muggity goodness. I do appreciate the support. Uh, Clue Miley, 21 months of muggity goodness. Interesting. Mugs to you. Thank you so very much. Dmars, thank you for three months of Prime goodness. Woohoo. Sub anniversary. Absolutely. Is it an anniversary? Is it doesn't like anniversary? An it means like annual, right? Like yearly. Is there like a what's the one for month? There must be a month one, month anniversary. I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and small batch. Thank you for twenty months of muggity goodness. I do appreciate the support. I am sheep button everyone. Okay, when we made this mug, I I don't I don't I'm right handed, so I always hold my mug like that, which means I get the lovely sheep, and everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> get to the other side of the sheep. So, yeah, I, I, I want to say it was intentional, but uh, it very much wasn't. Subversary. Yeah, there you go. Month you all. <laughs> yes, dot, that. Um, Blooming Prime, thank you for subscribing. For the very first time, it may seem. Sheep, but for you. Thank you very much. Okay, so what we got planned today, folks? Um, It's going to be a nice chill stream. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we've got a couple of games, new games lined up um, that I'm going to be checking out. I say games, they're both very much more of like a mini adventure, so that should be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to be checking out um, a brand new, which I think it might be one of the coolest shopping district area um, that I've ever seen. I, I hope one day, I mean, technically we did do something a bit like it on Hermitcraft a few seasons back. Uh, Scars 1, I'm thinking season 5, maybe. Was that the big dig? I don't remember, but it's very similar to that. It's very cool. I can't wait to uh, to see it because there's shops there now as well. Um, we're going to be checking out our spring district a little bit. There is some racing to be done there, and there is a a very cool project that we worked on um, a few a few months ago, or I don't even remember a few weeks ago maybe. Uh, we were hanging out um, in one of our regular Zecraft hangouts that we do, and um, this project just kind of uh, this project just kind of happened. It was it was quite interesting. You'll see what I mean when we go check it out. And that's been extended now, so I'm very excited to see that. And we're going to go for a walk. We're going to go for a stroll, a peruse through nature. And I don't know what else that exactly means, but we'll find out together. So hopefully that sounds like a little bit of fun for you. Um, and together we will we will stick through it. I'm just here in my mansion right now. This is this is my home. This is where I live. Um, it's it's got everything I need, ha, huh, including a, a scar head. Um, and of course I am. Can can I even see myself? Uh, yeah, I'm in there. I'm, I'm jammed in. It's it's spacious. 
Um, it's spacious to say the least, but yeah, there, there is Tone, our master, our chief guide, um, as always, uh, for these streams. So, um, yeah, Tone, what are we, what are we doing first? Where, where are you taking me? Where are we headed? This is Spawn, by the way. This is the edge of Spawn, and this is kind of the residential thing is, is all around the middle of Spawn. I think we want to have a graceful flight west. Ooh, okay. Well, there's a mountain in my face. Do we have to climb the mountain first? He's still in... <laughs> yeah, Toad's in his Zedivision outfit. I was, I was going to say, you look very snazzy, Toad. Huh. Oh, mind the goats. I thought you said mind the ghost for a second. These aren't goats. I think you've got your... Got your... Um, biology incorrect <laughs> Boom. oh there's some unloaded world over here this this might be interesting <laughs> load world show me what your secrets hold a little bridge through there oh tone you've disappeared into the darkness oh boy okay i found him i found him so on zedcraft here this is our shopping district. Wow, yeah, it's not very far away, is it? I don't think I've ever flown there, the distance like that before. <laughs> it's a very, um, a very nice, uh, like almost realistic shopping district this year that we've got. It's quite, it's quite pleasant. You know what I mean? Realistic, like it's more like you'd build it in real life, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but yeah, we've had this shopping district for some time, and I believe this is our. Uh, extension, our mall, our shopping mall, if you will, um, if we head over this bumpy way. So there's this massive mountain here, and from the very beginning when we found this seed, we were like, oh my god, we have to have shopping district in these caves. But they were so big and dangerous that it took us, like, literally all, nearly all season to get it, like, prepared, ready to go. But let's check this out. Okay, welcome to the mall. The mall, the mall, mall. We, d we don't really say mall in England as much, so it's weird. Or we would say shopping centre. So it mall is one of those hard words where I struggle to say. It feels like a, a real uh, panic. <laughs> um, please build your shops into the walls of the cave. Feel free to build additional stairs and bridges or message Easter where you'd like one built. Stay above minus 40. That's how, that's how we're going in this cave. For now, that's where the slime chunks are. Each level slash section will eventually be color-coded to make it easier to find shops. Absolutely. Okay, so this is what we do. Nitwicks. Oh, is this a shop right here? Statue Hall. Oh, okay. Do I... Wait. Oh, enter. Boom. We're not going to check out every shop, by the way. Oh, look at this. Chick chickens? <laughs> are they like robot, robot chicken things? I'm not entirely sure. What... what? What is all this? Oh, I fell inside. Is this a ginormous Willy the Worm? Oh, I got pooped out. Okay, good job I knew to fly. Right, so that's that's another entrance or exit. I guess you could say exit. But look at this place. Look at it. Look at all the space and it's all been lit up and lovely and there's all these levels and everything. It's it's a very, very cool place to, uh, to, to, to shop and build. That's for sure. Look, Tony's up there about to get pooped out. So if we head on over this way, um, you will see exactly the size and scale of this place. Like, I, I hope, we've already announced that um, season five that we're on right now is um, ending this summer. And we're going to be starting a new season six, which is a great time to join if, you, uh, if you're if you interested in a server like this. But already, look, there's a whole bunch of nice little shops here. That's the idea with the mall. You've got the shopping district where you can build all your normal shops and that. But if you... If you just need like a little little tiny little shop you can come and build it here in the mall and there's plenty of places so we got totems of what totems of undyong <laughs> that sounds fun this is a very pretty little shop as well lovely lovely and we got the flags and things banners as well someone else someone else's shop can go there we got something that, look there's things everywhere like that's what i love about this as you kind of like like it, it builds and expands it's just going to be this absolute like treasure trove of Oh, pretty. Um, oh, so this is the bank. This is the this is Zedcraft's first bank. Teller currently unavailable. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. <laughs> so, Nitwig, was this yours? Is this your bank? I can't remember who made it. It might well be. Um, and it's where people can store things, right? And it isn't a scam. <laughs> it legitimately isn't. Oh, I want to head up those stairs as well. 
Yes. Are we saying yes to it being yours or yes to it being a scam? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, is this is this the entrance? Is this where I came in before? I think it might have been, except I, I, I kind of snuck around. Want to dig a shop in the mall? Use the mall beacon. Oh, look at that. We've even got, got a handy mall beacon for everyone. Oh, wow. Look at this shop. This shop involves skills, which I have. I have them. I have the skills, so I may pay my bills. Spoof Nitwick. Nitwick's got another shop here as well. Service details. The sporadic surprise box subscription service. Look at this. There is some interesting things happening um, on Zedcraft, I must say. I, I need to I need to look at Zedcraft for my own shops because I'm a terrible shop maker on Hermitcraft. I really am. It's no secret. Um, everyone knows it. But yeah, this place, like, there's so much. This is the food court, apparently. I mean, again, very work in progress, remember now. But it just took so long to get this cave. If we just go into, into uh, spectator mode, you'll see just how big it is. It was full of danger. Like... All sorts of death. There was falling death. There was monster death. Um, it was quite, quite the case. But like, look, it's all been lit up and made safe. Um, and it's just humongous. And unfortunately, I don't think we'll ever be able to fully expand into it enough. But like, just seeing views like this, and and you can imagine what this could become, right? It's it's incredible. I honestly, it's it's just a very pretty shopping district. Um, you know, not that the one outside isn't, but. Have, having something like this to be able to uh to go around is is always very nice so um hello Gutchess, how you doing hope you're doing well will there be more olympics with the zitz crew in the new season absolutely i'm hoping no promises uh because everything's all a bit up in the uh, in the air right now but hopefully we will manage to get another olymp zitz um with tango impulse and skiz um on this season still before this season ends uh, a sort of finale one i hope um but we'll see we'll see um the willy world on this server is definitely uh fast becoming the pride and joy of the server and it th we have like the biggest gaming district i think i've ever seen anywhere um and every season it just gets bigger and better and more expansive and everything so season six of zedcraft i'm i'm calling it here best minigame server place ever that's that's what's gonna be that what is what it will become so uh yeah <laughs> exactly right introversion thank you so very much for the subscription six months now that's half a year thank you very much i do appreciate the support lovely um okay tony is there anything here that i've missed is there anything that i've not i've not noticed at all yet i mean we've got this is this like a a ye the yellow the yellow section path or something maybe i'm very intrigued to see i really hope this place can grow um a little bit more even before the end of the season i know there's still plenty of uh plenty of time plenty of shots plenty of projects that need doing and things that need buying and selling and all sorts um the bank has three layers in it three layers of bank what what can you bank in three layers is this like a, a lasagna bank oh that sounds good that sounds real good. Okay, so we've got an ATM. By starting the ATM, you agree to pay the small ATM fee. Huh? Pay one diamond in dropper and press... Wait, this feels... This feels... Interesting. <laughs> Let's go check out floor two and three. Um, oh, I think I whizzed right past floor two. Look at this interesting, very interesting chandelier as well. What have we got over here? Safety deposit boxes. The bank safety deposit boxes are located in the vault. Purchase a unique key here to unlock your personal box. Um, oh, I need to do that as well. Trigger streaming. Boop. And now I've got my little red streaming mark. Thanks, Tone. Okay. The bank office. Oh, it wasn't locked. It wasn't locked. If if a door's not locked, you're allowed to walk in. That's the rules. I got hidden cake back there as well. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll get out. I'll get out nice and quick. <laughs> interesting i i always thought of like doing something like a like a bank or a lottery or something like that would be fun but i always wanted to put a, a bigger twist on it than than real life and i i, I believe uh nitwick has done exactly that uh by turning it very very minecrafty but that is a very happy willy the worm isn't it you can't really go wrong there <laughs> yeah nitwick that's not good if the bank door is isn't locked that might not be the best uh security for a bank but hey ho 
Um, <laughs> lovely. Well, I'm sure... Oh, wait, there's another shop there. It's something. See, this is the beauty of it. There's little nuggets of everything everywhere. We will definitely be in, a, in an end world tour of Zedcraft before this season ends. We'll be uh, coming back to the mall to, to check out what it looks like, I'm sure. What we got over here? The end of the road. Oh, nice. Is this like a misc end loot? One diamond for any four items. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. You can just come and get like random end loot and stuff. Dragon heads. All the sorts of horsey related stuff. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> okay. I'm going to see if I can exit out the proper way now. Is this... This is like the proper entrance that doesn't require you to go through the digestive tract of a worm. Um, so that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Oh, even out here. I haven't been to the shopping district in so long. It's a very cool place. Anyway. Um... <laughs> Blitzfire, you've got four games ready to build next season. See, Will Willy World, our, our gaming district, is just going to be crazier. It's already crazy. I was going to say it's going to be crazy. It will be crazier than ever before. Um, and you know what? Tone, I think we're heading there now, right? If Tone does the magical magic, I think we can get transported to Willy World. Um, and we'll play our first game or our first adventure. Uh, the name of it intrigues me a lot. Ta-da! Look at that. Very nice. Is, oh, is this it behind me? Interesting. Okay, so this is called The Legend of Zeldaf. Right? Zel... Z not Zedaf. Zeldaf. Zeldaf. Zeldafer. Zeldafer, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, so I, I love I love Zelda. I love... I, I played, I don't know, maybe five or six of zelda games on various things over the years um and yeah obviously it, hey in like what two weeks we've got the new zelda game coming out as well so hey get excited for zelda <laughs> i will play the main character lonk yeah exactly we want to keep things um you know copyright free over here on this channel <laughs> to play this way okay this is very interesting all right how to play okay welcome to legends of zelda the server's best knockoff version of Nintendo's Legends of Zelda, in case you didn't know. Brought to you by Ermel, Pilgrim, Captain Chow Chow, and many others who provided advice. Instructions. Okay. Push the button on the green wall. Wait three to four minutes. When the music starts, fall through the green hole. Stay alive. Save the princess. Okay. To lower difficulty, wear Link's armor. Ah, uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. We're good. Hurry. Don't let many mobs spawn. Carry a totem, remove weapons and armor from the mob item chest. To increase it, going commando. I'm always commando. Give the mobs harder gear. Mm, maybe that one we won't do. Go slow, allowing more mobs to spawn. Okay. So I wanted to make a game that brought the same feelings as the OG Zelda. That is a good thing to try and replicate. You have to revisit the same screens over and over again. The candle and bomb help open up new areas. Oh, wow. Bring Being frustrated, not knowing what to do next, all of it. Yes, that can happen. But in Minecraft, some features didn't fit well. Like, mobs won't stay in their screen like Zelda, so I had to put up doors that keep mobs near-ish their starting point. Some doors also have a timer, so wait a bit after pushing the button. Okay, I'm good. I'm ready to go, so... Ha! Huh. Has the button been pressed already? Is this already the timer going on? The employee storage. This line is on by default. Okay, good to know that the redstone's working. There's the hole we want to go in. Okay, so uh, I'm going in... I'm going in commando, right? We've got to wait for the music to start, right? That's fine. Let's keep one of those in case we need it. Let's set our spawn. Okay. Right, to add items for the mobs to grab. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, the, the uh, These are all getting... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So all these items are going to be worn by the mobs now and absolutely wreck my face. If switches down, awesome Zelda music will play. Okay. That's so cool. All right, Tony, am I, am I good to go in now? The music's playing then? Here we go. I've just got to survive and save the princess. Oh, I have a cheaty carrot on me. I won't use a cheaty carrot. Okay. Ooh, wow. Oh, this is like a proper little thing. It 
It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh, there's double. Can I can I dual wield? Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll just take one sword. Okay, so I'm killing monsters, right? Oh, this is so cool. Okay, the emergency exit. Good to know. Okay, we've got a little mazy thing going on. What's in here? 60 rupees. Oh, what's that? Okay, that's a, a faller thing. Oh, there's another. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Button will open door when next room's mobs are ready. They're ready. In I go. Oh, look at this. We're exploring like the world map and everything. That's so cool. Okay. Oh, okay. I I'm assuming this is like a fairly accurate representation to the original. I don't think I've ever played the original Zelda. I've played the uh, Link to the Past a lot. That was my first Zelda game. Okay, so we're in like the Sand Kingdom here. Oh, we can go down into a dungeon maybe. Healing potions for 10 rupees. Potions delivered. Oh, wait, how do I... Oh, I've got a 10 rupee. So I put 10 rupee in. And I get a potion. Oh, nice. Ow! Okay, it hurts. <laughs> right, good. We're not seeing any mobs yet. Let's keep exploring. Okay, over... Oh, wait. I'm already... I'm very lost now. Okay, let's head up this way. Let's head up this way. Oh, no, there's nothing there. Can we swim underneath? I mean, in, in the Zelda game, you can't swim, right? Until you've got the flippers. Oh, there's another chest. There's another chest. Boom. Okay. Oh, I love the music. It's so good. Did I check you? I checked you, Barrel. All right. Princess, where are you? Oh, that's blocked off. Oh, I'm hearing fireworks going off. Okay. Hello! We got a monster. We got a, a royal guard. You'd be dead now. Can I use this? I don't see why not. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a ladder. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Huh. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Wait, am I back in the in entrance hole? Is this where I plopped down? I think I plopped down originally here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, how do I open you? That's what I want to know. Blue wall there, wait. Three monks walk into a bar. <laughs> I don't know. I'm lost. I'm confused and scared. Okay, so we definitely went into this area. Oh, there's like another another area over there now. Did I know about this before? Let's head down here. Okay. Shield. 90 rupees. Do I have to use the exact coin? I mean, I don't have the money anyway. Okay. Okay, we explore. Maybe there's some more rupees in here. 90 rupees! Oh, look at that! Let's go get a shield! Perfect timing! Thank you, rupee, rupee lord. Boop! And... Oh! Used shield! I didn't know I was getting a used shield. You know what, Rotten Flesh? Maybe I needed you. Okay, um, we'll continue on. Oh, I got a... Look up. Why do I need this stupid sword anymore? Can I sell my swords? I want to sell my Pope sword. Is there any secrets down under here? Oh, where's the music gone? Does this button do anything? Emergency exit. No, that that's the coward's way out. We don't do that. Yes, in we go. Oh, this place is huge. Okay. There's a lot of these places to, like, drop down in. I'm confused. Should I be plopping more? Um, exchange any mob drop... Who burnt them to a crisp? Go slow for best results. Food is dispensed. What a fool. What a fool. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, I'm climbing now. Oh, are these are the, like, statue things that move. They're like... Burp. Like that. Hey, someone stole my rupees. Is this way back down again? Okay, looking around for the barrels. Nope, okay, that's where I went up before, so we want to... Did I go down there? I... This is really maze-like. It's surprisingly maze-like. Is this where I came from? I think that might be where I came from, but I never explored all over here. Or maybe I did, and that's why it's empty! <laughs> I think this is where I killed the monster, isn't it? Okay. 
All right, let's head back. Let's head back. There's a doorway there. Okay. So ideally, we want to get through there. Oh, there's a button. Through we go. Excuse me. Hello. You're wearing a lot of clothes for a drowned. Okay, trousers. Better boots. Uh, no, I'll keep the sword I have. Thank you very much. Okay, now I've got some mob drops. Some mobby bits. Okay, these. this is the cemetery, I think. Oh, can we head down? Can we, can we sneak up into the church? Return the treasure to proceed. What treasure? I didn't steal anything, I promise. I stole nothing. Okay, so we've got to go find some treasure. This is, I lo I'm loving this so much. I want to play the OG Zelda now. Maybe I should have played that first. Maybe that would have given me some hints. Uh, where do I get the treasure from? What are we doing? Hey, Nightshade, how you doing? Okay, we are playing the Legend of Zelda right now. There's the butt entrance. Okay, I don't think there's anything here. Um, I need to be able to get the treasure. Who's that? Ermel. Ermel doing things. Wait. Oh, I thought I saw a button there, but it was you. It was you, you sneak. Okay. Let's head back. Is this the place where we can we can exchange food? Because I, I like that. Yes, please. Oh, cooked cod. And I press it again. Did it eat all my food? Hey, I was robbed of a cod. Cod robbed. <laughs> um, okay, so we went, we climbed the mountains up there and went round. I didn't miss anything, did I? I don't think so. I missed something. I missed something huge. Huh. A candle for 60 rupees. We have 60 rupees. Candles are dispensed. Oh, a Zeldaf candle. Okay, so in the... I, I, I know in the uh, A Link to the Past, you have like a lantern that you can kind of like throw. Is this the treasure? Maybe this is the treasure I have to return. I mean, it could be. Oh, did I ever go down here as well? Bombs for 20 rupees. Ah! Ah, I haven't got enough. Okay. Oh, I really want a bomb. Oh, are th these are bombable, maybe. <gasps> How would that even work? I don't know, but I really want to find out. Oh, uh, no, this is the way to go. Okay. Okay. Cod blocks. I like it, Addy. <laughs> is this the treasure? Is there like a missing... A missing, whatchamacallit? Or I guess it was there was a dispenser down here that I put it in? Return the treasure to proceed. Oh, now that I have the candle, a room may have opened near the beginning. Oh, hello. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Let's head back to the start. Okay. And we're going to light something on fire. Oh. Hello. You've got blocks. Okay, but you're naked. You are naked. Oh, you as well. No. Very good. Oh, I'm getting all your all the food now. Oh. They're relentless. Ha. Give me, give me everything, and I wear a hat. Where'd that hat go? Okay. Where is the beginning? Ha! Huh! You've not got a bow! You're confusing! Okay, wow, I've got a lot of different swords. I still think the one I'm using, though, is, is the best to my ability. Look at this guy! He got a monocle! You're going for a swim? <laughs> Come back, boats. Okay, did I explore here? I think I did. Did I? Oh, I can't remember anymore. What What was for 10 rupees? Oh, a healing potion. Should I save them? Can I use... I don't think I can use multiple rupees, so... I think all I can do is get healing potions there. Like, I don't think I could put two lots of 10 in. Maybe I could, but I, d I don't think so. That's fine. Hi. Who? Why'd there be death on the floor? What kind of enemy is this? Okay, I don't think the barrels reopen again. Is this, this is where I plop down to the beginning, right? 
Yeah, that's where I got my initial sword. So, is this open now? This might be new. Oh, no, this was always blocked off. Oh boy, okay. I might I might need hints soon. <laughs> uh, is, does anyone know? That was the first bit we went through. Does anyone have an idea for what I do with the with the candle? I mean, I could totally wear it on my face. Now I'm going around in circles. Hello. I'm hearing I'm hearing noises. Anyone, please. Okay, so maybe not that thing. It's ammo there. I mean, is this what's this? 20 rupees. Hey, can I get a bomb now? That would be nice. There's, uh, there's flying ermel up in the sky looking down upon us. Okay, so I want to go buy some bombs, I think. I think that was always empty, that one. Um, which one sold the bombs? Uh-oh. Was it you? No, that was the shield. Okay. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. Where was the bomb? And probably a food one would be quite nice to visit as well. Uh, I think it was... Was it the one in the mountain? Hi, he's got pants on! Why does him having pants on make him somehow look topless now? You know what I mean? Like, he, he didn't look topless until he was wearing trousers. <laughs> Suddenly now... This is... Change any mob drop for a chance of food. Yes, please. Boom. Okay. I can even put gear in the food exchange. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've got so much. I'm just going to sit here and do this for a while. Bum, ba, ba. Uh, I'm going to keep the... Oh, I've got a bow now. Hey, look at me. Oh, all sorts of variety of food coming through. And chuck all you in as well. I don't think I'll be needing you. Whew. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be stuffed. This is a feast. Look at it all. About time though, because my uh my hunger is starting to drop. One, two, three, and four. Yum 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 yum. We eat you. We eat you, and I'm going to just, I'm going to keep those, I'm going to chuck that, um, and the iron swords in. One, two, three, four. Codless. Codless! There is no cod! I'm, I'm saying it now. Okay, right, so that wasn't the bomb one. Uh, so where is the bomb one? Oh, here. Bum, bum. Bombs, 20 rupees. Boop. Boop. A Zeldaf bomb. Oh, I love it. Okay. Right. So, 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 so. I mean, sure, I can't just put it down there and it would explode. That's not how, that's not how it's going to work. Where do I need to bomb? That's the real question. That's where I came from. This this place is where all the, the gravestone things are. So this is kind of, I mean, blow up. <laughs> Let me in. Another room up front is is open. Oh, okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. So it's more just like a, it was like a key, a collection. Okay. We're looking for things that maybe were closed before. Oh, maybe the, the black, the black thing over the top of that ladder. Maybe that's open now. Where was that? Where was that at? That was like right near the beginning, I think. Ah, I got lost. Yes, it was. Okay. Very good. Deposit the red ring to open the dungeon part. The red ring! The red ring? I don't have a red ring. Not yet, anyway. I mean, I'm assuming all this food's been cooked properly. Red ring. 
Do I, maybe a monster has it? I forget. I really need to, like, block these off once I've, you know what I mean? Once I've been somewhere. One of the empty bar barrels might not be empty. You say what? Okay, so I, I should always check my barrels again. Maybe I was doing a bad job at barrel checking. Okay, looking for barrels, looking for barrels. I think I've scoured that area well. It's quite open up now. There's there's like loopy loops you can do. You? No. There's another barrel along here. Oh, hello, clothing. Take you, thank you very much. Get out of my face, though. Okay. Nothing in there. That's good, that's good, that's good. We're doing a, a, a sweep. We're sweeping the land. Okay, nothing there. We head over the bridge. Barrel, barrel, barrels. Wasn't there one of these that I could never afford as well? I really don't remember. Now, that's the healing ones, which we've got plenty of. Which is very nice. Um, right, we're gonna head this way. We haven't swept anything over here. Oh, there's a barrel. There's a barrel. I see it. You know what? You can't put anything past me. I am observant. That is my middle name. Okay, um, oh, you look like a place. Um, that's the emergency exit. Have I done loopy loops? I'm not entirely sure. If you, no, okay, so there's that one barrel there. Right, so how do we proceed out of this area? Um, I don't think I've missed any other barrels. I would have seen them. Um, oh, we have yet another pant wearer. Sir, I wish you... Oh, you're a fast one. You're fast. Look at your little feet. They're very cute. Howchie. Okay. Very good. Um, up in the... Oh, maybe the mountain has opened up a red ring. Red ring? Ha! Ze Zelda's red ring. I've got it. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. What do I do with it again? I totally forgot. <laughs> it's not that way. Um... It's through here. Um, it was quite back near the beginning, I think. So we run round, we run round. Yeah, it was where the, the ladder opened with the, the black bit on top. Um, there's two Zeds. I don't know what... I didn't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh... Where am I? I'm lost again now. Back around here? You, you ladder. You. Ah, let me down. Okay, deposit. I'm depositing my red ring. Deposited. Get in. What happened? Oh, the treasure. So now I go back to the place. They said once the treasure has been restored, something. <laughs> Something good would happen. Let me eat all these. So, oh, uh, eat. eat the fish. Okay, now we can head back to, um, where was it? There was a, there was a place, wasn't it? Right back through here. Was it the graveyard? Maybe it said once the treasure has been. No, there was a, there was a little, uh, pathway down somewhere. Was it here? No, that's. That's the food place. In fact, I might get a bit more food. Pants in. Um, all the swords. Why not? Okay. Oh, I have a cup of tea. A cup of tea has appeared here as well. <sighs> yum, yum, yum. Okay. Very good. Right. So, uh, was it? Was it this one? Maybe that there was like a, a pathway. No, that's the bombs. Um, hello. Drop your pants on the floor. Okay. I don't want to eat them accidentally. Was it here? No, this is where I got the candle from. Oh, it's so complicated to remember which hole. Which hole is the right one? Okay, uh... As you No, that's where I got the red ring from. Um, which one was it? Was it th was it beyond? 
Um, oh, I just ran right past a zombie. You're, you're, you have nothing. I feel a bit bad for you, actually. Oh, it's sounding a bit... Hello. Hello. Clother. Was it here? Yeah, okay. Okay, we return the, pro the treasure to proceed. Okay, we head up. Oh! Are we inside? I think we're inside the dungeon now. Okay, let's head over here very carefully. We don't want to burn to a sizzle. How did you get up on the roof? How are you climbing? Okay, I want to go up on the roof. I want to go that way. I just... Okay, that scared me a little. Um, This is like a mini spiral. Oh! The Zelda dungeon key. It's always good to find the thing that you need before. Wait, I'm eating a fish. Hold, hold it. Okay. Okay, so we're in the thing. Throw the key into the pit. Okay, yes, I will. Uh, that's a bomb. Key. Huh. Uh oh. Okay, no one look. Key. Okay, nobody look. Where did it go? Did it work? <laughs> I think it might have worked. Okay, hopefully that door back there opened up now. Okay, run, 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 run. Ha! Oh my word! He was fully kitted out, did you see? Okay, yeah, this is opened. Ha. Okay, this is a skull on the floor. Guess I can just push that. Princess! You're so beautiful! You might need... Here, you look hungry. <laughs> Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. Yep, yep. Stop getting yourself in trouble. Put some pants on as well. Game exit in gift shop. That was awesome. I love that. Oh, there's a proper gift shop as well. Return any unused game items here. Okay. Ba 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 that's that's awesome. Uh, well, can I take one of these? <laughs> I don't have the money for it, but I want to. I want to keep at least one of them for my for my memories. Okay, lovely. I'll take I'll take a red ring. I'll take a dungeon key, and I'll take a bomb and a candle as well. Why not? Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I've got my like treasure box here somewhere where is it memories here let me let me put everything in my memory box so i don't lose them oh look the perfect size for them as well look at that Boop. okay uh more amazing job i do definitely want to go and play uh the legend of zelda now oh look oh it was a sneaky entrance oh is this the puzzle now how do, how do i leave huh what's this okay i did it I successfully did it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> this is... So, the, the plan is still um, to build a whole castle above here, I'm assuming, right? Oh, that's that's the wrong buttons. We're going to be getting a full Zelda-style castle. Hyrule in all its glory. That's not my tea. That's cold. The outside is still in the works. Well, yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to see it when it's finished. Oh, did I? I stole the shield as well, didn't I? Whoopsie. Okay, that's fine. Luckily, well, I also have all this gear on as well. I couldn't fit any more in the basket. I was so... I guess I could probably chuck them in here. Sure. Um, cool. Right, let's pick our bits up. Oh, you know what? Uh... Oh, so we probably could have started with Link Armor. Look at that. We didn't need it. We went in without even our, our whatchamacallit on. Okay. Bam, 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 and we're ready to go. Lovely. Emil, amazing job. I love that. I love having, being able to have little, like, 
what you'd have a normal like a, on a custom map or something like escape rooms and adventures like that i just it's just so much fun it's so cool to do um having it on a survival server like this as well is just yeah i i can't even begin to imagine doing something something like that you mini game makers yeah you're, you're something that's for sure um is that Winnie T. Ford giving me 38 months of muggity goodness I see in the chat a little while ago? Thank you so much, Winnie. I do appreciate the support. And Nightshade as well with 27 months. My goodness me. Muggity mug. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. I was deep in Zeldaf-ness. <laughs> uh, lovely. Okay. Right. I believe um, with the magic of teleportation, I will be taken to our next location... Beep boop. Teleport beep boop. That's how they work, folks. That's how the magic spells are done. Um, and we are now here, back in the regular overworld. Um, ah! There's a toad. To our spring district. So, um, you may have even remembered it. This time last month. This time last year. I'm getting the old annual month you all messed up in my head now. Uh, last year we had a spring district. This is the first time on Zedcraft that we've actually had a seasonal district still be there the next year um so we decided to add some stuff onto it um so if i quickly fly around first this is what we had last time uh we had this very interesting horse race uh which we will be doing a mini horse race of at some point um very soon uh we had all of these different egg designs that we checked out before as well um, but, and then also there was the, a, a stream weekend where a load of people on the server all streamed as well. And they all got these uh, colorful trees and stuff. It's a very cool thing. Um, I believe, was that the first time we, we started that trend as well? I can't remember. It may well be. Um, and then over here, we have this thing, which, oh my goodness, it's nearly complete. We have one square left. We have to, we have to finish off. Oh no, there's two squares left. Oh no. Okay. We have to get this quilt finished. By the end of this stream, this quilt has to get finished. So, um, yeah, what happened here <laughs> was uh, we were hanging out. And we wanted to do some work here in the Spring District. Um, and we wanted we were trying to work out how to make, like, I don't even remember how it went now. We wanted to make big stuffed teddy bears. And then like a bit like with the eggs over there. Um, but we wanted to make, like, bears and cuddly toys and stuff. So then we wanted to make a massive bed for them to go on. And then that just evolved into a kind of like a a big um, patchwork quilt, um, which, you know, obviously people do in real life and stuff. And then that turned into where everyone makes this. And we made sure that like when you look at it from here, it's draped over the actual terrain itself. Um, it's also getting quite like, oh, it was getting soggy. Someone's added the land around it, which is very, very good because it was a soggy quilt which I can't think of anything worse. So this thing, like, properly follows the terrain, which is really cool. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I built this beautiful square. Willie's face, of course. Isn't it gorgeous and beautiful? But you can totally see, like, look, there's, like, an evil me. There's a better-drawn Willie the Worm, a ghast face. There's a spring, because it's the spring quilt. Um, there's a book, there's a picnic thing, there's a wither, there's like a geode thing, there's like stars, there's patterns, there's a watermelon, there's a cat, um, there's a bee, like a 3D looking bee, there's a planet, um, there's like a cool chef with sunglasses on, I think, <laughs> there's like a sunflower, a diamond, bunch of flowers, some more cats, a rose, an apple tree, a golden apple, it's it's unbelievable stuff. It's it's great. So I guess we should quickly try and add a section to the quilt. I mean, another one's getting built over here, I believe. But I feel like we should fill in this section right up here, right next to my face, and stream. I you you get to pick. You pick. And anyone with anyone that's that's subbed, if you've got the little ZF face next to you, let let me know what you want to see. A ZF trophy. Interesting. I got some sparkly bits here. Embrace your wolf. Thank you very much for those. It's a cool quilt, isn't it? It's a cool idea. And it started off as like a five by five. And then it just sort of kept growing um, as well. A jelly cat. The trophy idea is good. It's a good shape for it. Yeah. I wonder if I can. Is it... What does this say? Does this say it's. Bit... Oh, so it's plot. It's even my plot. Look at that. <laughs> well, they. I mean, 
it's got to be the trophy, right? There's no point in me even waiting for more things. Ow, my face. Okay, right. Trophy stuff. Trophy stuff. Do we go? I think we have to go yellow more than orange, right? But we'll take a little bit of orange in because we'll try and do some shading. We'll take some brown. Um, and I'm not sure what to do for the, the background yet, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, so quilt time. We're sewing quilts together. Um, this thing is also huge as well. Like, look. When we're actually Imagine having, like, a picnic on this. Okay, it hasn't even been weeded. Um, so that's nice. We'll go, go around and de-weed first. Um, luckily, I got one of the sort of flatter ones before. When you look over here, like, look at this one on the edge of a wall. Like... This it's hard, much harder to do. <laughs> That's why Willie, Willie looks so handsome. I mean, yeah, almost any angle you look at him from, it's quite um, it's it's quite appealing. Uh, except from from directly above where it totally works, and even then, it's not necessarily the best working it could ever be. Um, okay, a Z advancement trophy. Right, let's see if I can do this completely from memory. Or, like, you know, free free wheel in it. So, we're going to go uh, paint, 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 paint. Like this. Oh, boy. I think it already looks bad. Is this sort of base good enough? I mean, too... Is it? I'm not sure I've done the scale very right. Okay, no, re re go. I need I need some shears. Tony, have you got some some, some beggar shears? Oh, and we have got the map here to look at it. Ha! Huh, look at that. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. You know what? I don't need to erase it all. I just need to push this down slightly. Oh, thank you, thank you, Matthew. I appreciate it. I need I need a an eraser. <laughs> Get rid of all my mistakes. We just extend that maybe like this. Um, maybe a slightly longer neck. And then we go bam, bam. Whoops, say my trophy's spilling out all over the place. But, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, like that. And then we're going shading, folks. You don't, you think I wouldn't understand shading? Like that. And I forgot about this bit up here. This is the tricky building on a non flat surface. Sur surface. Um, I did it. I totally did it. Let me get off my the thing. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's really not very good. Let's put that in as well. Um, we kind of need the Z on it too. Uh, which is going to be tricky. On such a small scale. It's going to be near impossible. Maybe we'll do a T on it instead. Tedaf. <laughs> We can always look at it like that as well. Now it looks off center. Maybe we need to, to bulk it out a bit. Maybe we need a thicker trophy. Let's go something like this. Oh, I should. No, I should build over the thing, shouldn't I? Whoopsie. No, not for you, Tone. Oh, I should build over the thing. Why do I keep saying that and then not actually doing it? Those are some little handles. Okay, let's try and do the Z again. Okay, so we go. That felt good. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh, my face is on it. It's it's a work of art. It's beautiful. It cannot be improved. <laughs> the Z Advancement Trophy does have a Z on it. Um, so I guess. It kind of needs it, I think. I'm not sure. Genfire, thank you very much for 38 months of muggity goodness. I do appreciate it. Um, and Lustrity, thank you for ra the raid as well. Hello, raiders. Welcome. It is It is a beautiful trophy, isn't it? The shading. Oh, it looks so realistic. It's unbelievable. Now we just need to make a good background for it, which, I mean, whew, not entirely sure how we're going to do that. Anyone ideas? It needs an adjustment? Absolutely not. Have you seen Willy's face? Does that need an adjustment? No. <laughs> uh, oh, mate, I'm thinking like a nice red background, maybe. What what backgrounds don't we have? What's going to really make it pop? It's next to purple, blue, 
and I guess sort of green. Yeah, maybe maybe a nice red. Also, by the way, if you look at the willy face there <laughs> that I made, <laughs> because it's all lumpy and bumpy, it actually gives it a bit of shading as well, like natural shading, which is quite cool. I guess same on the trophy, you get the sort of fold line, but that definitely gives things a slight different um, like look about it, doesn't it? Red and grey, yeah, that that could be that could be quite nice poppy colours. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here. Red and let's go that sort of grey, sort of darker grey, really make it pop. I think we're gonna go. I think we're going for the pop route. Where am I? I've lost my trophy. Okay. Right, and I'm going for a very tricky, uh, sort of like sort of. Star explode? If that's even a thing. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, there's a light there. Probably should have kept that. Oh, this section's big. And, and you know what? I think just like when you're sewing a quilt, you shouldn't be able to kind of look at it until you're done. <laughs> right? It has, to, it has to be done in one... Fell swoop. You, it cannot be adjusted. Maybe it could be tweaked, but oh no! I need my I need my eraser tool. Eh. Maybe like that. Oh, the, some of these sections are getting very much bigger. Looks good, does it, DJ? Okay, I hope you're not just being nice. Actually, no. I I hope everyone just be bees nice. Bam 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 bam. Oh wait, what am I doing? This is this is things too. What a silly, what a silly, okay. Something like that. I'm just doing whatever feels right, you know? I'm going to run out of colours at this point. I ran out. I need more. Who would have thunk it? I would never have imagined needing more. Okay, red and dark grey. Was that not? Oh, I was this way last time. Okay, I, that's why it confused me. I made it. Okay. And I'm very intrigued to see what this is going to look like. Um. Oh, oh dear. Are we going to end up... Okay, let's try and sort of meet in the middle here. Like that. Yeah, this, this works. We have a bit of red. And we have a bit of the grey. Like so. And when I check out this map in my hands, we shall see if I move off of it. Ta-da! I mean, the base completely gets lost. <laughs> that's, that's the only trouble. But hey, I really like that. It looks like a cool explosion. Is there anything we can do about that base getting lost? Is there any... I guess... Hmm, we can't really replace it with... There isn't like a lighter brown, or even like a darker brown. Maybe we could maybe frame, if I grab... Or like a drop shadow? Maybe we try a drop shadow. Oh, in fact, look, we've got some carpet in here. Let's see if we can drop shadow this. So we go bam, bam, bam. Always to the right and the below. That's the rule of drop shadowing, right? Like that. Oh, it looks very, looks very skew now. I like it. I'm, I'm going with that, I think. I'm sticking with it. I think considering I didn't really know what I was doing, I think that doesn't look, look too bad. Thank you, Sean Tomcat. I think it looks it looks adequate. And you know what? It came from from my heart. It came from somewhere. <laughs> Maybe a little bit somewhere a little bit darker. Um Oh, is Addy's finished as well? Oh, were we just speed quilting? I think we were just having a quilt off. It's all finished. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. I, I wasn't looking at Addy's. 
where what where is it which what which one's the new one i can't remember i know that the rose was there wait addy which one which one did you just add i, I genuinely can't remember just the one under the rose oh nice the nice red pattern with the with the the yellow the yellow thing on let's check it out over here oh you had a very hilly one look at this Ta -da. yeah nice okay that's cool it, it's a very nice piece I, it's a nice it's much more pattern based um did you beat me or did i beat you or did we finish it exactly the same second so it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> oh, this quilt down here. This is going to collect some crumbs for anyone having a having a picnic on this. My goodness. Go get eaten by a ghast. What's going on here? There's real, real divots. <laughs> Lovely. Awesome. Well, I'm very glad. I know that earlier today, this quilt wasn't even nearly finished. So the fact that we've managed to finish this up today is incredibly cool i love to see that i think this might have to become a a bit of a recurring tradition on zedcraft um so yeah well ha how many is it one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven it's seven by seven so we need to be beat that next year you did four in an hour that's fine hey no one's no one's uh <laughs> the willy fight the, the willy <laughs> i mean he looks even though he's not he looks like he's sad does he not it's the massive lump on one side of his face it's it's a very it's a very hideous uh position but you know what that just makes me love him even more um i think next time we do what's this secret super username it's secret underneath it's hidden a quilt quilt for each season exactly and maybe one day we can put all the different season quilts together um It's yeah, it's very very cool. I say next season we go to like extreme hills and try and build a quilt on there because yeah, that really messes things up when you when you start getting crazy crazy up and downs. A quilt district exactly. <laughs> there we go. All right, I think we should before we leave the spring district for this year, we should head over and have a ceremonial horse race of um of the horse race. I mean you can't horse race a, a, a cow race, can you? Um, so we're going to do it blind. We're not going to check the track out beforehand. We're going to see if we can uh, totally just wing it. Boom. So this is the start line. I believe there was some underground stables here as well. Oh, yeah. You could pig race. Cuddles. Cuddles looks nice. Have you got a name? Oh, you, you've not got any name. I'm, I'm taking you. I'm calling you... Alan the Stallion. That almost rhymes, doesn't it? How, how good's your jump, Alien? I'm going to call you Alien. <laughs> okay. So anyone who anyone who wishes to join the race, come come now. Grab a horse. Get to the starting area. Um, what are we gonna are we gonna do this in F5 mode like that, or are we gonna do this in first person? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I think the finish line is when you splat down on the green there. I'm not sure. So we might also need someone paying close attention to this bottom bit. Um, but I mean, what am I saying? I'm going to be the winner, of course. So I'll, I'll know. I'll know that I've won. <laughs> okay. Matthew, DJ, me, and I see some other people preparing their horses. Easter and Tone. You joining us as well? I would imagine so. Mocha, you grabbing a horse? Oh, there's plenty more horses up here too. Look at that. There's a whole pen of them. They're escaping. Okay. Police is coming as well. Very nice. Very nice. The more, the merrier. I'm trying to come up with some horse puns now. Um, instead, Hippie, thank you so much. Finding Hippie for 36 months. 36 months. That's three years. Three years? Three years of muggity goodness. Thank you so very much. And Lustry, you, you're right. Oh, you, I already thanked you for that, didn't I? Well, thank you again. I do appreciate the support. Okay. Oh, it's quite quite scary seeing everyone coming over. Are we all here? Is Lisa here? Oh, yeah. Let's set our spawn. Thank you. Is my horse's spawn point set as well? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> 
Okay. All right. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting end. <laughs> I can't believe it's been a year since since this was made and we played this last. Is there anyone here watching right now that watched this stream last year? I'm I'm going to guess not, other than the people like on the server and stuff. whole year ago that's unbelievable that's sort of gone really quick and really really slowly at the same time feels like forever ago but also it was it was a year ago yeah i'm not sure time is weird here's lisa without a name tag <laughs> uh okay all right let's let's horse horse up to the starting line if we're all ready to go if someone wants to hit the button in three, two, one. Oh. Go. Okay. Ha. Huh. I'm just seeing inside people's minds. Maybe we do have to do this purely for... To see what's going on. Ah, my horse got stuck. My horse is an idiot. Oh, no. There's a jump there. Okay. Right, we didn't make it. Oh, don't cactus yourself. Okay. Up through the path. Through the carrot fields. Through the mushroom fields. Don't get hit by arrows, apparently. What a evil through the carrot patch. Through the carrot patch. Pumpkins and carrots and things. Oh, horses and water. Horses and water don't mix well. Okay. We're going down through the bee the beehive. Ooh, beehive. Right. Oh my goodness! It's a death trap! How does one do it? How does one push up I don't Oh no. Okay, my horse did it. Don't <laughs> push the button for my horse. Oh, that was a slow one. Oh, what? This bridge? Gah. Gah. Horse. Horse better. Oh, my goodness. This is terrifying. Oh, I think I've gone off course. Okay, now we're going on a rainbow road section. Okay, giddy up. Giddy up. And... This is a ginormous frog. I think I might have cheated. I'm not entirely sure of the rules anymore. We go along the massive frog tongue. And then we eat the flies. And we're done. <laughs> Yay. I don't even know what Did I win? Oh my goodness. Now we're going to just see a bunch of falling people. Horses and all sorts coming from the sky. <laughs> That's awesome. That's horsome. Horse. Got to definitely emphasize the horse part there. Thank you, Al Alia the Stallion. What's this? Oh, free, free saddles. What a race course. I forgot how deadly. How deadly that race course was. <laughs> where, where did I come? Was I third? I, I, again, I kind of maybe uh, cheesed some of the little bits there. I'm not entirely sure. That was like arrows being fired. Third. Yeah, okay. Nice. Nice one, Alien. We did it. We, we, we got a medal. Oh, the end is before the frog. Oh, that's the end up there, of course. That makes sense. This is just a, a sort of celebratory tongue. A celebratory tongue. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it at that. That's fine. Um... I remember, why is this, why is there this around the edge? Was that just decoration? I thought maybe these were going to like, boof, upwards, totally. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go again. Next season of Zedcraft, the Spring District needs an even better horse course. More deadly than ever. If it doesn't kill every rider and every horse at least once, it's not doing its job properly. That's what I say. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Okay, well, that's that's it for the Spring District, I think. Um, but we're not certainly not heading out of nature technology. Tone, where, where are we headed to next? With your very, very uh, interestingly coloured um, outfit there. It's very nice, but it's also very, very bogey coloured. If I do say so myself. <laughs> 
here we are. Okay, so I believe this is um, Ermel's National Park. Um, welcome, please read. Let's do so. Welcome to Ermel National Park. I told you I wasn't lying. First time visiting. Start at the visitor center to your right. That would make sense. Please stay on the trails. Please keep the park great. For all visitors, take only photos and leave only footprints. What if I need to poop? If the bears can, I'm allowed to, right? That's fair enough. Oh, Matthew, I've got your shears. I'll have to give you those later. I do apologize. Um, okay, right. The visitor center's there. We don't need to visit it. We're just going to go on a on a trail. Yeah, see, Tony's recommending me go. We're going to go on a nice adventure, folks. Get some snacks. We're, we're going into nature. And that's probably going to get us killed at some point. What have we got here? Beautiful big tree. Oh, that's a gorilla. I thought that was like a... Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, oh, I think we're going to be going down under the gorilla later. Is its brain exposed? <laughs> is that just like its pink head? I can't tell. Oh, what's this? Rim trail, signpost number one. Yes, it's a big gorilla statue in a deep pit. Not much else to say, really. So, is there any good movers lately? If you stay on the rim trail, you'll be... You'll see a little offshoot trail that leads to an area where there were like five copper veins in one area. Like crazy copper. It is the galaxy of copper trail. It's worth a visit. Okay, I'll have to check that out as well. And I'm glad it is just a gorilla. Okay. Do gorillas eat bamboo? I'm not sure. I think only koalas can, right? Because they're like super poisonous or something. Um, right. Oh, no, no, you feed bamboo to in Minecraft gorillas, which must mean that's what they eat. Otherwise, Mojang wouldn't have... I don't know, it's pandas, isn't it? We, there are no gorillas in Minecraft. That's where I'm an idiot. Okay. Right. Oh, I'm getting hay fever from this trail, I think. Okay. Um, rim signpost number two. Okay. A magic vine starting in the middle of the air like it just don't care. Arrogant vines. Things are crazy in the park. Wow, that is a real floaty vine, isn't it? Look, it's very long, though. It's like... It's like a... What's it, what's it called? I shouldn't punch. I should be careful of this magical thing. It's like a, um, what, what some call it climbed up and there was a golden chicken up there or something. A beanstalk. That's what I'm trying to think of. Thank you, Burp Potato. Okay. That is a very magical beanstalk. Okay. Uh, Copper Galaxy. We're definitely going to head to Go Copper Galaxy on our visit. Hello. Hi there. Okay, sure. Anyone can have a skeleton horse, but do they have... Someone saved my life. That's death. Okay, I think they're going to die. If they could just be a little bit quieter about it, that would be nice. Um, I can't read with you squawking. Hurry up and, and pass to the other side, please. Come on. You can't have been that healthy. Okay, now there we go. They're poofing into... Shush. Shut up wherever you are. Okay, sure, anyone can have a skeleton horse, but do they have a horse with the skeleton rider intact? Interesting, the pawn shop says this one is worth five times a riderless skeleton horse. Kind of big deal. Oh, look at you, you got a skeleton on and everything? I didn't even know that was possible. Is that not a trap? Is that not one of the ones if you get too close to it, it's going to like, lightning, gzzg. I'm not entirely sure, but that's quite a find. I thought we were just going to be looking at like bushes. <laughs> this is like a like a crazy museum of like rare stuff okay so the copper galaxy trail okay so we're we gonna do this and come back i hope copper veins are cool but are that they are underground so go into this cave just keep going it isn't a trap i promise not at all creepy in any way boo <laughs> these these are fun books okay let's head down i'm hoping so they're, they're gonna be all like dug out for us stop Go back. Wait, what? I But the book. But I do what the books say. It's a trap. General Akbar. Whoa, it's like a galaxy. Two of the veins are obvious, but there are more. One vein appears to go through the geode. One is barely noticeable, high on the north wall. One is mostly covered low on the south wall. Lots of copper in this area. Feel free to explore the whole room. You can totally get back out without flying. I promise... Why do people think this is creepy? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is big. And I'm assuming these are like... 
this is like natural this has been actually excavated like this this was spawned in this way i i assume this hasn't been uh hasn't been placed how do you even go about finding that just digging out everywhere until you find copper let's head down oh this is this is a little bit creepy isn't it there's the geode as well that's been dug out wowzers that's a lot of copper That is very cool. I, 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 w I wish to know how much copper's there and if you was to fortune it all, how much you would get. Uh, yeah, it's very cool. I do like the, uh, the, the the last few years, the updates with the copper and the... I mean, granite, and that's very old now and that, but I, I still remember the days when these were new and we were all like, Ugh, why is it that? that? This doesn't do anything. But it's very cool to have the different kinds of rocks. Re uh, slightly more going towards real geology and stuff i don't know i think it's cool and the and the whatchamacallits and stuff it's very very nice i must say um back in my childhood there was a lot of things i learned from video games and it's cool it's cool for that to continue into later generations and hey i'm still learning stuff now you still remember when running was new <laughs> lovely okay hello skeleton right let's head back onto the regular trail again i say regular trail is it has he got pink a pink wig on or is that just what colored gorillas are what's this okay so like this area is lit up really well the back of the gorilla is covered in either carpet or string and mobs will still spawn on it what so please be careful exploring at night i thought it was gonna tell us like it's wearing like a cape or something <laughs> Here is a bed to rest at if you find yourself out at night. Be warned, Tenestus might have used the bed once. Not that there is anything wrong with that. Oh, it's got tone juice on. Well, I'll set my spawn there just in case bad things happen. More! More floaty vines! What a... What a... Very handsome gorilla. And we're getting round to the... Interesting side. It's a cow. Okay. Gorilla butt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is this is definitely my sense of humor. I'm uh I have never read these books before. <laughs> What's this we're gonna say? More magic vines. What even causes this to happen? Magic. It has to be magic. Just off to your left, in the far distance, the taxi bridge. Just off to my left. In the far distance. Wait, where? Just off to your left. The taxi bridge far distance huh i see i see a bridge of some some description um yeah i don't i've never seen any of these floating vines happen so that i think magic must be the answer if i'm honest beautiful tree there as well okay what do we got here occasionally one of the tropical fish that spawns down below will get water vated vated up to this small pond it's fun oh i wish we could see that happening Come on, tropical fish. I'd love for one to just spawn and just absolutely get, like, exploded out. Oh my goodness, this place is humongous. Come on. Okay, I'm going to have, I'm going to drink some tea and we're just going to stand and wait just for a second or two. We've got, we got to see it. It's important. Shut up, sheep. Toad, get out of there! I'm waiting for fish! Okay, well, I finished my tea. I don't think we're going to see it, folks. This is like when you go to one of those um, geysers, you know? And it's like, it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen when you want it to happen. Sometimes nature, sometimes nature do that, you know? You're waited, waiting with bated breath. Is that a pun? Yeah, old old faithful in Yellowstone, exactly. As soon as you want it to spurt, it doesn't. As soon as I turn my back away, I know that a, a fish is going to spawn down there. And spawn. And spawn. 
Okay, we're gonna wait for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Half. We move on. I'm sorry, Fish. We cannot wait for you all day. I would love to have seen you. You hyped yourself up. But it just wasn't meant to be. Okay, maybe, maybe one day we'll pop back. <laughs> What's this? Ooh, it's like a little ledge. Okay. Is this the visitor's center? Eh. Trinkets belonging to Ermel the Great. Definitely. I think this is the back of the visitor's center. Okay. What's this? Eh. The rim trail. So I think we've gone around the whole rim now, right? This is where we started. Uh, There's the cavern trail. Yeah, I think we want to go to the cavern trail now. I mean, the visitor center looks very nice. The visitor center. Okay, time recommends the path down. That's fine. Let's go down to the cavern trail now. Any fish over there? I'm still, I'm still holding on. Okay, the great adventurer Ermel is rumored to have said, "Oh, when first gazing on the statue." I'm assuming that's just a oh. Very simple, casual restoration efforts removed over thirty vines, some poisonous. Some poisonous from the statue. While the early Zedaphites left no written record or way for us to learn about them, researchers say that this was a statue of their patron god, Uga, <laughs> the god of flowers. Worshippers would wear pink during bi weekly ceremonies. Interesting. Now, is that two a week or is that every two weeks? We, d we don't know. We just don't know. Uh, where, where is this statue? Where are we, where are we looking? What's this? this are those eyes i see eyes okay um ermel sniped two creepers from this location during the restoration of the statue i'm kind of a big deal said ermel and the waterfall to your right is kind of neat too many fish have died trying to swim out of the caverns ah that's sad it, wait is this is this the place that is the place what do i even do it's just oh okay I was I was very nearly gonna gem gem I was gonna gem my brain I'm the gorilla I've been over gorillaed okay you are now twenty three meters below the top of the big hole the big hole was named after its size and that it is a hole pre zedaphites would dare each other to jump from the lip of the basin to the basin sorry winners would get to live another day. The statue is thought to be of the rare pink-backed gorilla. That is the statue. Um, though some argue it is supposed to be a poorly built flamingo. <laughs> wow, this thing is intimidating when you when you get low. When I was up there, I was like king of the gorillas. And now I'm starting to feel a little bit inadequate in my gorilla-ness. Um, jungle trees are pretty tall and you can see the top of a few from here. Researchers claim that the pre-Zeds worshipped trees and named this particular tree Barky. Researchers also point out how odd it is for such an advanced culture to, n to not have ever created any other art, such as cliff drawings. Typically, you'd expect to see a lot of paintings of fruit bowls, but nothing of like that adorns these cliffs. There's something there. <laughs> wow. This is quite a hole. I think it's named rather aptly. The main attraction of Herbal National Park is, of course, the tile work on the statue's pedestal. Are they weapons? Weeds? Probably. It can, it can be both. The trail continues on the far side of the platform where you can take stairs further down into the big hole. Oh, lovely. Okay, wow. Excuse me, sir. We're going to just uh, go underneath you a little bit and enjoy the, the floor underneath you a little there. Hello. Oh, okay. Yep. Good. I won't, I won't look up. Up, oh, there's the stairs. Let's head around here. Only the bravest adventurers dare continue down this trail. The park and Ermel are not responsible for death, loss of life, life, or both. Is it just me, or do those spore blossom particles make your nose itch? I'm, I'm very hay fevery right now, I must say. I mean, I can't be sure, but I feel like I'm allergic to them. Yeah, I, I feel like even seeing things in video games, like... This is what my nose feels like right now. Just with bits of green flying everywhere. 
Um, even though the pre-Zeds left no writing, researchers say that you can arrange the letters for the word vine in any way and still get a word in the pre-Z language. Envy. Envy. Oh, envy. Hey. For example, there's even examples. Ivni is a word for your mother's mother. Nevi is a word for the depth of the ocean. And Evin is a word for the bowl that is used when giving someone a bowl haircut. <laughs> nice. Also, zippy is also a word that has a meaning. I wonder what it means. Is that like on the front of your trousers, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, is this the bottom of the big hole? It is believed that the pre spent most of their time down amongst these pools, where they had plenty of fresh water to drink and tropical fish to eat. Ugh. Uh, some say the pre are still among us. Their spirits living in the axolotls. Unrelated, have you checked out the shop at the visitor center? We sell a variety of axolotl heads, which make a great souvenir for your visit. Oh, who would, who would do such a, 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 a shameless advertisement in the middle of something so, otherwise so natural and good? You know, terrible. Um. Let's continue on. Is, is, oh, there's an axolotl there. Are you? Were you once living here? I'm not entirely sure. This vine was made by the pre to help them ascend the pit. It is made from magic. It is growing up from the ground. Please don't update any blocks around it. Is this the one I... Oh, that's one of the ones I saw. Can I climb it? Is that, that's not going to update it, is it? You can totally climb it. You just have to be careful. Look at that. And then you get to the top and then it's like, whoa, uh <laughs> where to go from there? Ow. Azalea bush. Thank you. Boop. Even though the pre zeds left no written records, researchers believe that they called this pool the small pool of the falling bacon and a pretty good place to bathe as well. <laughs> this place to rest was donated by the Tonesta's resting home for kittens and squirrels. Ah, oh. ah, oh, what a lovely bench. You can just sit there and enjoy it. I, you could totally jump off there into there. I feel like that must be attempted at some point. Um, okay, here is one. There are two muffins in the oven. The first muffin says, man, it is hot in here. Then the second muffin says, holy cow, a talking muffin. Also, there is a pretty large vine growing here. Might be cool to research, but it is prioritized behind researching pre-Z Olympic heroes and pre-Z shoe manufacture. Interesting, that is a very glowy block. I think this post should be about the houses in the cliffs, but some jerk planted a tree so you can't really see them. I bet it was that egotistical Ermal who thinks he's such a big deal. Boo. Beyond the cliff dwellings is a small cave that provided access to the ocean where the pre could hunt squids for their meaty tentacles. Tentacles. Oh, should we headed in the cliff? I think we got to visit the cliff. Oh, here's a little dwelling, a little broken down dwelling. This is a very cool adventure, I, I, I must say. I feel like Indiana Jones or something. Oh, hello. Does this actually connect up to the ocean? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to explore too. I'm going to end up drowning. That feels like the ocean that way. I mean, the book ain't going to lie. Books don't lie. It's not what they do. Okay. Heading around the trail a little more. I feel like I'm learning so much as well. Are you not? Fan Freak, thank you very much for the raid. I do appreciate it. Welcome, raiders. Um, as you look up, you'll see where you once stood before deciding it would be a good idea to go downhill all the way down. Now you have to go back up all that. Jeez. Oh, yeah, that's the worst. When you have to, when you explore somewhere down and you know you've got to go back the way you came. If you chose to explore the caves up ahead, you can get lost. Please don't do that. And then you'll be tempted to dig up and you could end up under the pandas and who knows what pandas have been burying over there. Exactly. No, I'm going to do what I'm told. Oh, this is very pretty, though. I would love to... Like, is this all custom? There must have been some, some naturalness in it initially. But maybe not. I mean, this is this is all very custom. It's very impressive. Let's play a game. Okay. Let's see who can gather the most tropical fish just by exploring a little around the bottom of this big hole. Fishermen villagers will buy them, but I don't know why. Or how about this game? With the hunt head hunting rockets, try to get 16 slime heads at one time. It's tough, but enough slime spawn deep down here to give you plenty of options. Wow, so you'd kill like a big slime with one firework? Would that kill them into little babies and then into baby babies? Would that actually work? 
and try not to play in the lava. I know it can be tempting, but those that have tried it before have all agreed that it wasn't as much fun as it looked. Very much so. That, that does look tempting, doesn't it? It's raining. I could put myself out again. This is the start of the Geo Trail. Go over the bridge, around the Azalea routes, and after a bit you'll enter a large room with a large open geode. Maybe even an axolotl or two. Of course, the caves continue well beyond the geode, but nothing is maintained or safe once you see the torches. Even less safe once you reach areas without torches. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, let's go check out this mighty geode. Down this way. Boop. Geo trail. Yes, please. Thank you. It's nice to know you can explore where someone has previously explored. You said torches, but there's only lanterns around, so I was lied to. Slightly. Oh, there's a torch. Okay. I forgive. I forgive. There it is. The mighty geode. Can I fly into it? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so it does slightly continue down, but we were warned against that, I believe. Again, these caves. I am I am in love with caves, I think. I, I've got like a whole new appreciation for caves lately. Um, this, all this new generation stuff is just, yeah, it, it, they've done such a good job. And again, when, they, when people like Ermel are able to take that and shape it into something even better, or like what we saw back at the shopping district, it's very nice. It's very cool to see. Okay, back on the main trail we go. Was a amethyst belt or like a sash? Carrot. Okay. Eh. This magnificent natural phenomenon before you has stunned researchers since its discovery. Debate rages about what type of lawnmower would be best to cut this two meter tall grass. I mean, you could use a gas mower with a ten inch blade, but you don't want to spray grass particles onto the odd, unstudied, perhaps very common purple rock behind it. I would agree. Where's this massive... Oh, right here. Look at that. That is quite a mighty tall bit of grass. There is more. <laughs> what have we got here? Lush caverns are just so cool. Yeah, I was just saying that, Book. To your left, there is an unimproved trail through a cavern that leads to a lesser geode and then onto the bottomless pit. The pit is unexplored and unlit. Reminds me of the time that I ate too much cheesecake. I mean, it was really yummy... But I had really bad dreams about spiders. Yeah, exactly like you're thinking. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> While the gorilla might be the most famous pre zedaphite creation, at the end of this cave is the most famous natural creation in the park. The shape of the cave naturally cools the air as it enters. During one excavation trip, researchers discovered a 10,000-year-old jar of mayonnaise in the cave, proving for all time that not only did the pre zedaphites use the cave for refrigeration, but they also had great taste in condiments. Lovely. <laughs> Let's go into the chilly caves. Oh, yeah, here we go. The chill begins now. Look how cool this is. Where's this jar of mayonnaise? <laughs> I was hoping there'd be a lovely little jar of mayonnaise right at the end. I wonder when mayonnaise was invented. It's a good question. It feels like a quite early thing. It feels... Was it French? Mayonnaise. Sounds French. Um, and this is the end of the trail. Oh, no. To get back to the top, you can climb the stairs that brought you down here. Or there is a water vator behind you down by the river. Thank you for visiting the park. Your visiting fees are used to keep the park clean. Whoops, I didn't pay. Um, and safe for visitors. It also helps feed the pandas who are super picky. They are divas. Really annoying. Hey, do you want to buy a panda? Or just a panda head? I guess we could also buy those at the shop as well. That is so cool. Okay, where's this water... Is that the water column? That one? It is French. Hey, I knew it. Okay. Right, so that's where we came down. We can also fly out, but we weren't we were told we weren't allowed to to do that. Oh. <laughs> careful, careful. Oh, there's this bridge we were talking about. Right. Is there a fish going to spawn right now? Do it. I I give it one more chance. It's not going to happen, is it? What an awesome little adventure, though. I loved that. That was great. I genuinely felt like I was visiting, like, a proper place, you know, with things to, to see and do. Um, so thank you for providing that. 
Um, Ermel's National Park, I highly recommend a visit if, uh, if you ever get on the server. <laughs> in 1756 as well. Wow, you could get some pretty, some pretty old stuff. Oh, no, I didn't check out the gift shop. And the building on the hill. Is that this one over here? Huh, I fell. Oh, here's the building on the hill. Look at that. Boop. How does one enter the building on the hill? Oh, this is the villager. The villager breeding thing. Oh, is this, is this just jokes? Oh, great gorilla, how I love thee. Let me count the ways. One, two, three, four. Oops, already thought of that one. Four, five, six. <laughs> Haiku. The great gorilla staring throughout history looks a little pink. How many scribes does it change? Change. What that says. What's a light bulb? <laughs> if you meet a genie and the genie says you can't wish for more wishes, can you wish for more genies? I think so. Who cares? You should wish to see more gorillas. Yeah, they, they're, uh, they're a little bit better than genies. Um, it, the might pink gorilla played football, they would dominate and be the best forward or quarterback. I think quarterback because then they could be a quarterback silverback. Um, or center or whatever position name makes the most sense. One fish, two fish, pink gorilla, blue fish. <laughs> Write your own story here. Okay. Oh, that, so these are other stories that people have been writing. Interesting stuff. Okay. Eh. And then is this the visitor center? Is that the gift shop as well? Or is this the gift shop over here? Oh, there's the pandas. What are you, skeleton horse? Coming... A really cool stables. Taxi for Ermel's National Park. You were getting taxis as well? What's this? Oh, it says maintenance only. Okay, yeah, that's very maintenance-y. I stay out. I know when I'm not wanted. I listen. I listen to signs. There's the museum. Hands-on geode exhibit. Do not touch. <laughs> Trinkets. Yeah, look at that. There's like a... What's that? Maybe like a lump of cheese? That's like a dice. That's a little earth built into the corner. Is that uh, bees? I'm hearing bees. 400 Zedificates per toy. Oh, wow. They're the heads. You can buy vines and glowberries and things and amethyst. The book's there as well. Very cool. Information. You can buy an information book. Look at that. It's got a whole thing. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's head back to the fish. This is its final chance. And in, in a moment, Tone will transfer us to our final event that we are doing today, which is uh, another... It's a, it's a it's an Easter. I know Easter was a little while ago, but it's an Easter treasure hunt um, in, in Loot Labyrinth. A very cool mini game. Uh... We'll try and collect as many as we can. But Tone, you may teleport me whenever you think it's right. Whenever you think a fish has has lost its chance. Fish. I'm just ex I just want to know how far how high is it gonna like go up? Is it gonna be really disappointing and only come like one or two blocks? Or is it gonna like shoot up to the sky? I don't think we're ever going to find out. I think we're being tricked. I think no fish are ever going to come out. Excuse me. <laughs> we're getting shoved by sheep. Sheep shoving. We didn't. We didn't find out. It's never going to happen. <laughs> okay. Egg. It's been changed. By order of the sheep. Yeah, the sheep was getting impatient, I think. It was... Uh... It was nudging me a little there. Oh, look, there's eggs have appeared everywhere. Didn't I have a thing over here? Here it is. I am a tent. Oh, I had a loot labyrinth coin as well. Okay, Tom, what am I doing? Am I emptying everything? Am I removing it all? Tom, you've changed. Oh, look at this. Are these the prizes? An Easter elytra or an eggerite inger. Okay, here's the instructions. An Easter treasure hunt. I have converted the loot labyrinth build into a treasure hunt. This game is not timed. You have as long as you want to explore the labyrinth. 
looking for shulkers. Okay, every shulker has one unique treasure. Collect as many of these unique treasures as you can. I can't speak. There are 27 in total. Well, I'm not going to be finding all 27. Once you go down, it's hard to get back up. Leave the labyrinth by entering the altar on the seventh floor. You are welcome to enter again and find more treasures. Don't take anything from barrels. These are needed for the LL game, which may return later. Only take one item from the shulker. Don't hurt any mobs. Don't break any blocks. You can wear armor, take your food, totems, etc. But it, you can die. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll risk it. You can help each other, but don't post spoilers. If you want to team up, you can. And then there's all the prizes. If you find 12, you get the 5 plus and the 10 plus. Oh, nice. Okay. Here's a treasure basket. Let's take a nice purpley one in. Uh, here, Tone, have... There's Matthew's scissors. Have some of my junk. <laughs> okay, folks. We are going to give ourselves a grand total of 15 minutes to find as many as we can. How many do you think we can find in 15 minutes? There are 27 to find. I'm going to set... I'm going to aim for 15 in 15 minutes. If that's even possible. I don't think it's going to be. But we're going to try our darned bestest. Okay. The numbers on the items are random. Oh boy, okay. People reckon 6, 12, 15, 23. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, well we'll find out, I guess. Lock your answers in. 3, 2, 1. Uh, someone start a 15 minute time ago. Whew. Okay. All right, so we're looking for shulker boxes, right? I did run the loot labyrinth um, a couple of times back in the day. Okay, so this was meant to be a relaxing Easter hunt, and now I'm, like, panicking. Oh, oh no. We, we got, it's not barrels. It's shulkers that we're looking for now. Okay. I would be surprised if I find one. What an awesome little cart. Okay, run, run, run through the loot labyrinth. Uh, once I find one, I think hopefully I'll be kind of, like... A little more like to know what kind of thing I'm looking for you know are they just gonna be are they gonna be like super hidden oh my goodness this is way deeper than I thought am I already on level two I think I just skipped the entirety of level one okay shulkers ah what's that big spider I feel like the shulkers are gonna be like camouflaged you know that's definitely a hole down to further trails. Like, could it be back here? Like, how hidden are we talking? If it's a treasure hunt, they've got to be they've got to be pretty hidden, right? They can't just be like, oh, I found it. I found one. And a jelly bean. Okay, well that's good. That makes me feel happy. Okay, let's 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 do head down this mysterious hole. Water. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too hidden, was it? That wasn't too bad. Oh, this place is beautiful, though. This is a really good idea to, to turn it into an Easter hunt so that people can actually appreciate all the build of it and everything, you know? I'm probably going to... Oh! Uh, number one! I did it! Okay. Oh, that's a normal barrel. I can't help myself. Ow! Flowers! Flowers. That's that. I put the owl in flowers there. Okay, there are twenty-seven of these things dotted around. Look at this place. Eh. Am I wearing armor? Okay, I'm wearing some armor at least. Nope, that's a regular barrel. See, I'm finding all the regular barrels where they were all hidden. Oh, I'm inside a some sort of carcass. Oh, I found it though. Oh, the, I feel like the colours, like, represent... Ow! Kind of like, what's there? Okay, how long have I got? I've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. I don't think I'm going to find 15 in 15 minutes, but I, I certainly think I'm going to find a good amount. Ha-ha! Yeah. yeah. Oh, get out of my thing. Yeah, exactly. I could re-enter the top again. And, and go via somewhere that where I've never been before. Okay, looking around for shulker boxes. Oh, is this this is back where I was. I was in here. I think I was in here once. Either that or it looks very similar. 
Any shulky shulky shulkies? They're not going to be above the water, are they? That would be silly. Okay, there's that ouchy flower place again. Is there anywhere new I haven't been? I've already passed... Yeah, I, I definitely passed through a few. I'm sure I've, I've literally walked right past some shulker boxes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that has definitely happened. Okay, I'm already a bit lost. Ouch! Okay, oh, there's got to be one on this boat. It's got to be. Well, that got dry very, very quickly, didn't it? Okay, searching around. Can I... What, what was that noise? Okay, there's a normal barrel. There's another normal barrel. Ah! Wait, do I want to be sucked down? Oh, well, too late. We're finding out. Huh. Okay. Oh, it is dangerous, isn't it? Uh. Uh. What's going on? Ah, I knew it. I knew there'd be... Oh, there's a barrel there as well. Carrot, bunny food. Okay, don't fall in the lava. That would be very embarrassing right now. I found five. I found five. There's a Mario pipe, which I will be going down soon, but I've got to explore this... This area first. I think I found a red thing, didn't I? In a red one up there somewhere. And then I think, did I go that way? Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. What are you? Slow falling. I don't want you. I don't want it. Oh, what are you? I found you. Chocolate bar. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, we should put start putting our things in here. All right, so what do we have? We have six. Very good, very good. Um, there's another Mario pipe. What are you doing? What is your name? The soulless bones of the labyrinth. Yeah, you, you mean face. Get away from me. Oh, it's, it's hard climbing four ladders simultaneously. Huh. Scary. I wasn't prepared for that. Is that... Uh, uh. No, that's not a shulker box. Owie! There's a barrel there. Of course there is. Oh, he's, he's firing at me. Run away from you, you mean face. Oh my goodness, this is literally like a labyrinth. <laughs> Any white shulkers? Any white shulker boxes? Anyone got any white shulker boxes? No, now I'm in an orange room. Oh my word. Now I'm in a purple room. Oh, the stairs. Okay, okay. Okay, this actually works. It has labyrinth in the same. I know! <laughs> and somehow I wasn't expecting to get this lost. Okay, no, that's just a nice little room. Another nice little room. Any shulker boxes? No. Eh. Okay, so I can leave that way. Can go up this way. Oh my. I, I'm climbing back up again. This feels like the wrong direction to be going in. You know what I mean? Oh, could I have swam into here? You could swim in, but you can't swim out. Ouch, my face. Okay, oh, cactus. Okay, okay, looking, looking, looking. I, I've been a little dry on finding anything for a while. That's not good. Okay, oh, I remember coming down here. It's a nice little colourful village thing. Okay, shulker box, shulker box, shulker box. Is that one in the ceilings? No, nope, I don't think so. Anything in the buildings? The, the amount of, like, different universes you go through here is astounding. You're just in a different place every five seconds. Now we're in a, in a spory, mushroomy lap. I, I don't like that. I thought I was looking for eggs. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's follow this, this path. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm just looking for eggs. <laughs> Okay, it should be easy to spot here, surely. Surely, what are you? You're a barrel. Ah, oh, hidden. Eh, eh. Shocker box. There's one. Yes. Okay. Very good. How much time have I got left? I think I started at, when my stream was at one minute, uh, one hour forty six. So I have until one hour one minute. I've still got seven minutes left. Okay, so we're just over half time. This is good. This is good going. Eh. Oh wow. Parkour expert, me. How do I leave this 
this place. Are you a shulker box? No, you're a barrel. Okay, you tricked me. You tricked me. Okay, into the scary place. Any shulker boxes around? I will be falling down there soon, but I want to look for shulker boxes first. I don't think I see any. Uh, could be very well hidden, though, you know? Like, even back here. No, that's just a barrel. Of course, of course. Up, 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 up. I'm not seeing any. Oh, they're penguins! <laughs> this is just Sam's penguins. Like a death altar. Um, back, back here? No! Okay, all right, penguins, consume me. Oh, I need to eat food. Oh, this hurts. What a wet floor. Oh, wait, is this the way, all the way back up again? Was this the floor seven thing? Okay, we might be have to go from the t very top again. The trouble is, I'm going to find all the same, same shulker boxes that I found before. Straight back in! Straight back in! I've still got time! <laughs> uh, nah. Okay, alright, which way did we go before? We didn't go this way. Did we? I don't remember. Yeah, we did! We saw that awesome cart. Okay. Let's go a different way. A snowy way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't see this before. Can I enter the igloo, please? Through the front door would have made sense. That's a regular chest. Any shulker boxes? Oh, hello. Hello, sneaky, sneaky. Better be a shulker box down here. Boop. Is there none? There is none. I climbed all the way for nothing. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, I'm so good at finding barrels. Is there anything in the ceiling, maybe? There could totally be like a black shulker box in the ceiling and I would not see it. To save my life, I wouldn't. Okay. Climb, climb, climb. Ah, ah. Is this unclimb outable? Okay, no, it's fine. I did it. I just had to... I just had to believe. Any... Oh. There's danger there. What's that? Okay, down we go. Further down into the icy place. Just looking for a simple shulker box. That's all I'm looking for. Nothing more. You can give me a shulker box game. You can do it. I believe in you. I think I, I remember this part, though. I think I might have, have run around here at one point and found a... Something. Something blue. Oh, no. This doesn't look familiar, though. Oh, oh that, that, that looks familiar. Okay. Uh, ah, I walked into a cobweb. Get out of here. There's no way I can climb up there, though, is there? Hmm. Hmm, I say. Oh, hello. Stairs going up. That might be nice. Climb, climb, climb. Although I think this is maybe where we came down before. I'm My, my mind is so confused. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, we definitely came through this way at some point in time. Here's the cart again. Oh, no! Okay, right, let's go this way and we'll try and, uh... We'll try and take a different path. A different route. I mean, can I... Is there a secret? There's no secret. <gasps> I did a secret thing. How does one leave? Okay. Let me out, let me out. Okay. That was really cool, but not good enough what I needed. Any shulkers? No, no shulkers. Ah, I'm going the same way again. Oh, no, no, no. More penguins. More penguins. No, this is back to where I'm... Okay. Ah, this way? Oh. Uh, I, I had one. No, it's new. Okay. Oh, that's eight things. Okay. Come on, 10 would be lovely. How, how long have I got? Oh, I've got two minutes. No. Okay. All right, let's go down through past the penguins. Uh, Down past this way. Oh, oh. This is new. This is new. Ouch. Come on, up the tree. Down the tree. In the tree. Round the tree. Oh, no, that's just a barrel. 
Okay. Thank you, Mocha Vibes. I appreciate that. When you have low expectations of me in the first place, I can never disappoint. <laughs> okay, little village. Little village. I I have sort of been forgetting to... Hello! Yes, please. Goodbye. Um. Okay, I'm assuming there wouldn't be any more. I can't believe there's 27 to find. That's an astronomically big number. Okay, pop you in there. That's nine. How long have I got? Oh, I've got like a minute and a 15 seconds. Okay, run, run, run. I, I've got to try and find one more in that time. And then I, then I can say I have double digits. Up here? On the mushrooms? Up and above the mushrooms, I fell. Okay. Oh, no. No, that's a way down. Not a way up. Is this where I just was? Can I go down the well in the mid- Yes, I can. Of course I can. Oh my- Okay, it's the underwater place again. I don't think I went this way before. Oh no, I did. That's the ship. No! Oh no! Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing new. I'm only going to get nine. Oh, this is- Oh, this is the way down. Isn't it? This is the way I came. I've got 25 seconds to go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Desperate. Desperate times. Through all the colourful rooms. Let me... Uh, get, uh, uh. And... Time. Just one more second. <laughs> <laughs> there's gotta be there's gotta have been one round round here or something, right? I didn't explore any of this. And there's another one. Yeah, I I got nine in my allotted time, but technically I found ten things overall. You, this, there was no time limit. That was a self-imposed thing. But that was a lot of fun, I must say. Okay, let me see if I can quickly remember how to uh, make my way back out of this again. I think we want to go down and find that. Council of Penguins. Uh, we kind of... We went down this way. Um, thank you, thank you. I felt like I did quite well. I, I enjoyed myself, at least. Anyway, that's the main thing, right? Oh, we certainly didn't come this way before. Oh, no, no, we did. We did. Uh, oh, that's not the way out. Here was the Council of Penguins. And then we went down here. And then this was the way back out. I said, I hope he gets more than three. So I was also right. Yeah, that's true. You could have just said more than zero. And then you would have definitely been right. Well, technically not if I'd have got zero still. More than negative one. And then you would have been right no matter what. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to say I got ten. Oh, brilliant, which means I got this. So I get a secondhand Easter egg. Oh, which one do we want? Pink dotted. I think pink dotted. Pink ribbon. Tone, can you uh, wear that on your head, please, so I can see it in its glory? Yeah, that's the one. It's very, very fetching. Oh, even the backside's good as well. Okay. Yes, I'll take that one, please. Thank you. Lovely. And then I also get a 10 treasure, which is a tr triad pets token. Lovely. What's in there? Oh, diamonds. Pure cash. Just giving out solid cash there. I love it. Okay. Boom. Keeping those. I grab this. Uh, I guess I should probably give you back the... Do I get to keep the, the treasures inside as well? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to keep that. I'm going to take that as well. Take it home with me. I did it. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Brilliant. I love it. I love it. What a server, folks. Um, I hope you had fun today hanging out. It was an a, a incredible... This was a true variety stream today. We, we did all sorts of things. Um, Tone, thank you very much for putting everything together. Everyone that built everything today that we checked out, thank you so very much. And just Zed Crafters in general, thank you for being awesome. Thank you for making such a cool place um for us to hang out it's awesome stuff you can join as well if you're a cool person too if you like having fun if you like just making fun things um for me and for other people to explore and play around 
you can join Zedcraft. It's ten dollars a month. Um, that really helps me support me and uh, helps me keep making videos and stuff as well. And you get to play with all these wonderful people as well as maybe play some Willy World games, make some Willy World games. Who knows? There's awesome stuff to do. Um, Zedcraft is truly the place to be. Um, so yeah. Do come along if you're interested. And uh, yeah, like I say, we're going to be starting season six, a brand new world um, sometime this summer. We don't know the exact time and date yet. Um, but yeah, all of this will be will be saved and gone and we will be starting brand new, fresh um, to make awesome memories all over again. And I know for a fact that this season, this coming season of Zedcraft is going to be insane. It's going to be incredible. Everything just like... I don't even want to say bigger and better, just weirder, <laughs> more Zedcrafty, and that is that is going to be something very exciting to see. So um, I hope you had a good time watching. Thank you for all coming along. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and those of you that have got tomorrow off as well, enjoy your extended weekend. Um, I hope to be seeing you very very soon. Uh, I will try and find someone awesome to raid after this, so do go and say hello from me. Um, but now let's check out the credits of all the people that helps to support and do the trumpets today all over the place. Um, as well, I'm wearing my create skin. I just realized. Thanks everyone. Goodbye.